challenge is what are the opportunities that present themselves at this time that would be worth considering um, either following up on or uh, 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 not taking down, but, but um, targeting in terms of the sort of challenges. <coughs> Challenges of, well, <laughs> again, I think the main challenges and the main opportunities are probably the policy kind of um, framework there. The crisis land obviously is a big issue. Um, the I think, or I get a feeling that there is um, a lot of appetite in lots of different ways. Um, to start looking at ways, ways we might be able to organise our own housing and, and do things differently. Um, which is, is good, partly because because the situation is so dire. <laughs> so um, people are a lot more open to thinking about and actually working on doing other stuff. Um, and also fighting for the right priorities. Then, yeah, so if we can link the, you know, the looking at alternatives and providing alternatives to also fighting for the rights that to, that are there to keep them, then that's also important. Does anyone else want to add something? Um, apart from knowing that there is land in London, there is land that developers don't want to touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and generally you know, has its directors, local authorities have their directors to, to develop what they call <coughs> infill land or, you know, small plots of land, all right? But nothing's happening. You know, we're knocking at doors, we're, we're speaking to people, and, you know, it's like nothing, nothing's happening. So I think we need more people to be knocking at those doors to say, look, you know, we need to be building houses and sort of self-developed community services. Yeah, there's land available. Connect us. Yeah, and we'll, we'll do the rest. Yeah, but yeah, no, it can't just come from one or two groups. It, yeah, no, we need more people to be doing that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, um, access to land is obviously the, the main thing. Um, around where we are at Heathrow, there's a hell of a lot of land speculation that's going on. So there's loads of of land that are just being left um, and it's most of it is actually or, or was at one point prime agricultural land uh, but the the owners of that land know that they can get a lot more money out of it if it's uh, if it's used is, is redesignated <coughs> so they can use it for housing or offices or for car parks or factories or whatever so they just abandon it people come and dump stuff on it and uh, then they say, well, we can't use it to grow any food, so we're going to have to use it for something else. Um, so overturning that idea that landowners can do whatever they like with their land, there's no duty of care for the land, and there, yeah, there should be tighter controls on land speculation. Thanks. Um, I think you know, Roger has already highlighted the, the, the two key challenges, which is which is land access to land for community projects and the planning system and, and, and other sort of regulatory frameworks that we operate within. Uh, you know, there's no doubting that, that those two things stack against us. Um, but I, I, I see a couple of interesting, you know, that a uh, tide started to turn here. I mean, for one thing, there's so many people interested in all of this stuff now, the fact that these are in here. Uh, at the Drive Housing Co-op, uh, we get lots of inquiries from people. We, ha uh, we had a 160 inquiries into our inbox last year for 2013. Um, and, um, of course, I, I, most people, if not everybody in this room, I is looking at this from the point of view of the housing crisis of, you know, access to, to proper housing that meets our needs being out of reach and so on and so forth. But there's a whole load of other people out there who are doing very nicely out of 
base as well. Um, and you know, you only have to look in, you know, from the, from the, the Royal Writing Press and, 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 and see how houses have been covered. Uh, and what I find really interesting is that I see that that is just starting to tip. So, what, so for example, there were two recent articles in the Telegraph newspaper portraying uh, the, the, the way that the London housing market, particularly the inner London, like Zone 1 and 2 housing market, is going as, as being a bad thing. So I thought that was really interesting, that you know, a right-wing newspaper that would traditionally, whose traditional readership of people who benefit from individual home ownership, now saying, hang on a minute, what's happening now is not in our interest. Um, so this, this idea of sort of getting more people to do things, uh, you know, is as a critical mass, this could become a political issue. It's not at the moment, but I can I, I, I just see a few kind of early signs that there's an opportunity here. Um, so yeah. Well, I mean, we've gone straight to another this land. <laughs> um, historically, it's always been the issue uh, from feudal times onwards, basically, um, and. Yeah, the situation, I think, politically and economically has become more and more um, stacked against sort of, you know, small small scale um, development and of one sort or another. Uh, you know, it's a topic which has been, you know, people have been aware of all this for a long while, but politicians have been unwilling to touch it, go near it. Um, and it's become embedded in the very heart of the British economy, the whole question about how property uh, values and so on underpin all sorts of other economic activity. So, you know, it's going to take uh, a really, really radical kind of change of political, economic structures in order to begin to make a big difference in this area. I mean, I, I, I really think one's got to recognise that, you know, the political and economic forces behind all this are, you know, extremely strong. Um, and yes, there are people around and now, as in the past, you know, who identified the access to land and its beneficial use as being the key to, to what goes on, how we live, what we do. Um, so yes, ideas please. <laughs> mm -hmm.